Hello my friends, I hope you're doing well, I hope you're doing good, I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here playing the Age of Engineering, some 1.10 modded Minecraft, and let me tell you what my friends, the grind is real. I got my Santa hat on, I'm looking pretty good if I do say so myself. Yeah, I look like some crazy, like, um, I got my spectacles on, man. <laughs> If I was a little bit heavier, man, I'd be looking like old Santa Claus. Oh, let's get to work. First of all, let me before I do anything else today, I need to show my good friend Terry, who commented on my video about my single, um, what is it, walnut tree? Yeah, single walnut tree. He said, I bet you 10 gooses. <laughs> I don't know if I really want some geese. But he said that he would bet me 10 gooses that this tree was sitting on the chunk border. And I said, man, to my, I said to myself, self, let me log in here and see if Terry's right. Let me see. Let's hit F9. If you hit F9 once, you sort of get these lines. You hit F9 again, you get chunk border. So this shows you the chunk that you're in. This is actually pretty handy. So if you're building like a some kind of machine or something like that it's always nice to have it like right inside the chunk border like you build inside here and then you load this single chunk and everything's happy I I don't necessarily practice what I preach though because man I just build stuff wherever I want to I always remember this but if I go over here that guy is not on a chunk border so I'll be expecting my 10 gooses to be delivered ASAP Mr. Terry um, it, somehow managed to grow the rest of the way so I'm not sure exactly what's going on there let's turn that off again all right there we go we don't need to see that stuff man it's causing trouble okay let me see how I can catch you up I haven't really done a whole lot first of all let me go over here and deal with this mess man this crazy greenhouse thing I need to put this thing on pause I believe here let me pause you there oh my goodness look at all these dang broccoli seeds Oh my goodness, we have like stacks on stacks of these things. Okay, that's enough. That's enough game. Okay. All right, well, there's, uh, I have so many broccoli seeds. I don't know. What, what can I do with these things? I've never made these guys. I could also go to the calculator and make, I don't need those. Oh my goodness. Maybe I make a knife. Knife handle, knife blade. Huh, let's make one. Why not? I don't. I think it can be used as bone meal if I remember correctly. So we might as well do something with these crazy things. So let's go over here and see what we need to do to make a knife. Knife. Okay. We need a knife handle, knife blade. So that's a piece of flint and some iron. Okay. I don't have any room. Do I have like these in the thing? Uh, okay, that should work. Not really. Uh, let's dump these in here for the time being. We'll come back and get them in just a second. Ooh, where's my broccoli? <laughs> yeah, I should be cooking that up. Uh, Miner 69 er said, man, you got to eat that stuff. It's good for you. All right, so let's see. We need two pieces of iron. So let's do a one, a two, and then a piece of flint. Okay, and we should be able to make a knife blade. Okay, there we go. I guess we could make like all kinds of... Oh, no, those are tinkers. Okay, then we need to make a knife handle, which is a stick and a piece of leather. Alright, let's do that. Alright, and then we'll make this. And then we'll make the knife. Get yourself cut. Okay, let's take out all of these seeds, or as many as we can hold. Okay, and then, let me see, I think we go like this, and then like that. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we're going to get so much. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay. Let me see what we use this for. The compost. The uh, <laughs> Acts just like bone meal, but can be crafted in a... The compost is used to make fertilizer from biomass. Fertilizer also just or acts just like bone meal but can be crafted in a much simpler manner just by crafting biomesh and then putting these inside a compost and waiting for a bit okay okay so let's 
I guess we need to make some a compost thing. Oh my goodness. Let me find a drawer for some of this stuff. I don't even know where to put it. I'm going to have stacks on stacks of it. Okay, let's just dump it in here for the time being. We won't keep it in there. I mean, I can make a ton of this. All right, let's make a compost deal. We're sort of getting off track a little bit. We might need to make a couple of these. We need a wood casing, which is just uh, wood and sticks. Okay. I guess we'll make like four or five of these things maybe, huh? Okay. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How about eight? How about you doing for sticks? Let's get one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. Let's take the. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to use my spruce wood. Go back in there, spruce wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let's take uh, some of these and make some more sticks. We'll go like that. Make some more sticks. We'll take these and make them this. Okay, let's get on here, and then we'll make some compost. we got to make some wood casings. Uh, four will do, I think. And then, what's the deal? Are these just planks? Okay, can I make them out of these planks? Let us see. Okay, I need some more planks. One, no, not you. Dark oak. No. Okay. Okay. And then let's make these. Okay. So we got four of these compost bins. I guess that's what they are. All right. Let's go outside here real quick. And we'll just stick them outside by the house. Let's just go like one. No. Oh, that's not what we want. I'm going to put down our compost bins. Okay. Let's go one, two, three, four. All right. Let's go in here and grab some of this. Let's grab a stack of these guys. Let's go. I've never used these, so I guess we'll find out what the deal is. All right, will these guys go in here? Did it take all of it? Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of cool. That'll be definitely a way to burn through some of this stuff. Let's get the rest of this out of here, okay? Okay. Now what? <laughs> I guess we just click on it whenever it's done. Okay, well that's we'll just let that sit there for a while. I gotta put some of these seeds back away. Good grief. Can I put more? Let me actually test test something really quick. If I go like this and make some more of this like that. Alright, can I put more than just a stack in there? Or is that the maximum? Okay, looks like that's the maximum. Okay, good to know. Well, we'll we'll come back to that hopefully by the end of this episode. Uh, let's just dump all this stuff in this chest. This is all of our crafting kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. All right, and then we'll throw a broccoli in there and do that. Okay. Now the other thing I want to just play around with quick, we got we have work to do today and we're sort of not getting it done, but man, that is what it is. So we've got this thing called a health processor and then a hunger module, okay? So if I take this guy, I don't know where I'm actually going to put it. How about right here, okay? And then I come over here and I get some fish. Let's get two stacks of fish. Now if I throw that in there, does it... Okay, let's look here. Use. Oh, no. Okay, so what do we do here? That gives me a nutrition module. So we can put stuff in it. Okay, what can we, we can put all kinds of stuff in there. I guess it, it can't just put everything. Can put broccoli in there? Hey man, it's the same mod. <laughs> I guess... That's weird. That's weird, the stuff you can put in there. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Eggs. I can't put food in there, though? You think you would be able to. All right, well, let's, let's get some zombie flesh, maybe. Maybe they figure that... I mean, we have a little bit of zombie flesh, not tons. Do I have any, like, laying around somewhere else? No. Uh, 
No. Okay. Okay. So that worked. Okay. Well, it does, it's kind of strange, the stuff here. I guess I could get some eggs going. Oh, I can put... Why can't I just put food in there? Okay. Okay. All right, well, I don't, I don't really know what that does. But anyway, I thought maybe I could dump my fish in there, but it doesn't look like that's working the way that I want it to, which is not really cool. Oh, there's my broccoli. I thought I had more than... I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Sorry, we just got distracted. All right, so last episode, we made the atom or the algorithm separator so we can easily get ourselves lots of redstone ingots. Now, off camera, I made myself some tin electron tubes. I got a bunch of them. Let me see. Where did I put them? So today, we're going to start making forestry stuff. We're going to make a forestry farm. Oh, my goodness. Let me get sit up here in my chair. Sorry for the squeaking. It's super loud. I ended up making like a 100 of these electron tubes. I don't know what I did with them, though. I guess I could get a mob farm and feed stuff into that into that crazy thing. Where are my electron tubes? I know I made them. Um, did I start a chest or something around here? I was putting stuff in. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. I didn't put them in here by chance, did I? What happened to my electron tube? They're not in here, are they? No, they're not in my inventory. I'm going to put that little guy in there for now. Okay, they have to be in one of these chests. There's copper. Oh, wait. Yes, over there. Okay, let's sleep through the night. I, mean, I forgot what I was doing or where I put stuff. I Man, you don't play this like every day for, uh, you know, I, I, I just played this like two days ago. <laughs> and I forgot where I put stuff. So let me go over here and take a look and see what we got going on here. So in this thing, we have uh, a little over 100 tin electron tubes and I got lots of stone bricks. So let's go ahead and... See if we can't make some of these forestry pieces. Okay, so we're gonna need a hundred blocks. Cause we're gonna do if we're gonna make a forestry farm, we might as well make the big one, right? Definitely need to make the big one. Uh, there's something else I need to do, and that is get myself some copper. How am I doing for copper? I'm okay. All right, come out of here, knife. All right, I need to start this process. Copper block. Yeah, that'll be enough for now, I think. So I'm gonna need some. I'm going to need some stuff, I think. So maybe not today, but while I'm thinking of it, I just want to get it going here. You get in there and start slicing stuff up. And you know what? I'll put you in there, and you can make one too. How about we do that? Okay. All right, let's start putting together this forestry farm. Oh, there's an Enderman. Let's not look at him. Do I want to look at him? No, I'm okay. I'm all right. All right. So we got to make a bunch of different things to make these forestry farms work, okay? So, first of all, we're going to need... So let's look at farm, um, and we want brick. All right, we're going to use... Uh, we're using these stone bricks for our farm. So farm block, first of all. So we need tons of copper. We're going to need like 200 copper. We need stone bricks. We need these, and we need those, okay? So we need planks. So it doesn't matter which ones. So I guess we can get some dark oak wood out of here. Let's get 16, oh, maybe 32. 32 of these guys like so. All right. And we'll convert these into planks. And then we will go like this. And we will get lots. Yeah, but we need more than that, believe it or not. So we need like, 
I guess like 200 of those things. Stop messing around. Just do it all. There we go. And then, what do we need? Copper. Oh, good grief. Okay, so it's a little expensive, but that's okay. We can hit the mines. One, two, three. All right, let's see how many of these guys we can make now. So we need farm blocks like this. Okay, we can make a stack. And then we can make... Oh, we can make all of them that we need. So we have 64. So let's take... Let's do this. So 64 and 24 are 88, okay. 89, 90, 91, <laughs> need 12, right? So that should be 100. Okay, so we have a couple extra um, little deals there, but that's okay. All right, let's put whatever we can back away. All right, now we need to b build some more farm-related stuff. So we need the farm, we need a gearbox, so we're going to need some tin, okay. We're going to need the um, farm hatch. And we're going to need two of these, which is more tin. Okay, we need at least two. We need water. Uh, do we need two? I think two maybe be enough. Okay, and then we also need some farm valves. Oh, so we need uh, two hatches, two va or one valve. This is for water. And then we need the control which is a gold electron tube. So we might as well get that gold electron tube started. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let me see what we've got going on here. Does this guy have... All right, so we're going to put that in there. We're going to need some of these guys for sure. I'm just going to put enough for one, one cycle. I don't need to go too crazy here. There's that. And then we're going to need some thickened glass. And hopefully I have some extra here. Yep. So we need one, two. Okay. Man, we got it going on. All right. Put that in there. And then we need a gold electron tube. We need one of these. This is the recipe we have to use. Okay. And then if I turn this on. All right. And then as soon as these are makes, I want to turn them back off. Because I, it's going to burn through a lot of my clear glass kind of I think it's gonna burn like eight of them or something okay you turn off okay there's my gold electron tubes okay and now we need tons of tin how are we doing for tin I'm pretty sure we're in really good shape when it comes to tin you guys move out of my way okay tin I can never remember shift aluminum silver tin we have tons okay so let's get a couple stacks of that out of here um, and we have sticks okay let's see okay we might need some iron as well so we gotta go and do farm uh, hatch let's do farm hatch we'll do two of these guys so we need a trap door we need a tin gear that's a steel mechanical component okay so that's for hatch we need two of those and we're gonna make so that's four four of those and then we're going to make a farm valve okay so we need another tin gear so we just need one of those right so that's going to be so it's five right and then we need farm control okay and then that's going to be that 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 that, that. okay that should be fine okay so let's make some trap doors. Uh, how do I make trap doors? I sort of forget. Is it like this? No. Can I convert these back into things? I can. Okay. I think trap doors are like this. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's make a couple of those guys. Okay. And then let's make some tin gears. Okay. Tin gear. All right, we'll go like this. Okay, so we need these guys, which is copper and steel. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how much steel we need, but let's get a good bit out of here. That's enough for four. That's enough for six. Maybe we'll make eight of them. Okay, and then one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Okay, tin gears. Let's make these first. All right, and then we'll make these. Okay, there's our tin gears. All right, now let's go and make our pieces part. So farm control, let's do one of those first. Need a little bit of redstone. Okay, farm control. Farm control, done, okay. So now we need farm valve. So let's make that. I need a little bit of glass. Should have some up here. Okay. Farm valve. Done. Okay. And now we need farm hatch. And we should be able to make two of those. One, two. All right. I think that's it. Okay. Farm brick. All right. Let's make sure. We have oh, a gearbox. Oh, dang it. Okay. We need a gearbox. Does that mean we're going to need another? No. No. I think we're good. So let's take these out. Man, that was perfect. How do you like that? Okay. Farm gearbox is just one of these. Okay. And then we've got the rest of our bricks. Okay. So we got to think about where we're going to build this thing and how we're going to have it set up. So what I normally do with a forestry farm, at least how I build it, we're going to build it obviously over here near our little house because I think that's going to be pretty key. What I normally do, I mean, they're big, so I think we should probably build it further away than we think we need it. Maybe like right here? Okay. All right, so we got to start. So these are five by five. I want to say five by five. It's five, it's five by five by four, okay? So let's start right here. We want to make sure that we have enough room for the stuff that we need because we need to get items out of this thing. I think, we'll, okay, I have a plan. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's the deal. And now we got to put some of these guys here in the bottom. We want the valve and a hatch at least. So let's put a hatch here and here, and we'll put the valve here. And then I think we can put the we'll put the control here. We'll put the gearbox here, okay? Because we're gonna access this stuff from underneath. I'm gonna have like a little area that we can come down underneath. I think that makes sense. Okay, so there's that. Now we just have to go up. So we're gonna go one, two. I love these multi-block structures, man. They're awesome. And then we want to go one more. We're going to have to extend out. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. It might just fit. We may have to do some trimming on our river over there. Okay. Okay, now you see that, that we've got this line here that tells me this is a completed farm. So right now this is an arboretum farm, and we don't want that. We want a wheat farm is what we want to do. So we need water, we need some other odds and ends. Okay, let's go sleep through the night, and then we've got to get out some of our circuits that we've got from our calculator mod, from our farming that we're doing back there, and make a circuit board, and then we might have to make some more... Um, might make some more electron tubes okay so we want a big daddy circuit so let's take a look here and see we want the advanced circuit uh, from the forestry mod this guy or intricate yep fits four electron tubes so we need some gold ingots this goes in the carpenter yeah okay some redstone ingots we need these circuits okay so we need the gray ones um, do we might need, let me put all this stuff away, extra stuff, okay, and then I might need to get my buckets, I wish I'll have lava in them, put these guys in here for now, we might have to come back and revisit these, okay, um, where's a bucket, hello, bucket? I don't want to have to make a bucket, but I will. 
if that's what I need. Okay, well, let's just make one. One, two, three. Did I see some iron in there laying around? Reinforced iron ingot. Okay. Yeah, I gotta remember that's in there. Okay, let's make a bucket. Let's grab some water. I'm afraid that my carpenter's got seed oil in it, which is not ideal for sure. But we'll we'll figure it out. All right. Click. All right. So let's go and make this circuit. You gotta know how to make this stuff. I mean, I know that this is we're doing some crafting on camera here, and it yeah, it can get a little frustrating, I guess, sometimes. How's this guy doing? My carpenter. Uh, no, uh, carpenter. Okay, yeah, he's full of seed oil. How much is in there? Oh, no, that's not enough. All right, let's see if I can have a tank and I can pull that seed oil out. Uh, do I have a tank? That one. I don't know what they're full of. Are you full of anything, guy? No, okay. All right, you come with me. And I'm going to pull all that seed oil out of this thing temporarily. So let's go to our carpenter. Go like that. And we'll configure this thing to pull. Okay? And he should be draining that seed oil out. Awesome. And then when that's all out, I'll throw some water in there. Okay? And then let's, while that's doing its deal, let's look at the circuits that we need. So we need the one... Okay. All right. I think we have all those. So... We need this one, this one, and this one. I have an extra one there. Okay. All right. Is this out? Yep. Okay. Now we can throw water in here. And then we can go... Intricate circuit. Okay. We want this recipe. So we're going to put these... Yep. So we need this, this, and this. Uh, we need to grab some of our gold that we have up here still. And we're going to go do do. And then we're going to go <laughs> back around here and grab six of those. Perfect. All right. We can put all those in there. And then this thing should do its deal. Yep. So we're going to have an intricate circuit board. Okay. There we go. That's exactly what I want. You come back out of there. You go back in there where you're happy. Okay. So now we need to take a look at this thing. Uh, we need a soldering, soldering iron. We need this. So that's a piece of bronze and three pieces of iron. So let's grab those. One, two, three, one. And then we can make this guy. Oh, that's also a carpenter recipe. Okay, well, we'll do it that way. I'm afraid I need more water. Let's grab another bucket quick. I could have got that bucket right there. Okay. All right, we'll go back over here and we'll dump some water in there. And then we will go like that. And then we'll click this guy in. Okay? So he's going to make this circuit. Takes a full bucket or this uh, soldering iron. Okay, you come with me. All right, all right, all right. Okay, now we got to look at what type of uh, electron tubes gives us the wheat farm. That's what we want. And the cool thing is we can swap these things out. So, automatic farms, arboretum, or orchard peat bog, crop, far crop farm. So we need bronze electron tubes. So that is a bunch of bronze. We just need four of them. So it's not too bad. Okay. One, two, three, four. You see how we're sort of getting things together. We're taking care of business. All right. And then I need two of these guys. All right. And we go over here to our thermionic fabricator. And we do bronze electron tube. We can click that in. We dump this and this and that. Turn this on. Here, I'm going to do this. I just, I don't want it to go use all my clear glass. Turn this guy on. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, that's not the right one. 
bronze. We need this recipe. Okay. Okay, it's it's doing it. Yeah, and no inventory doesn't. Oh, I need uh, I need some more bronze. Okay. There we go. Okay, bronze electron tubes. Simple as that. You get turned off. Okay. Thankfully, that heat up cycle doesn't take very long. Okay, now we get our soldering iron out, right? We get that guy. We put this in here like so, right? And we want to do automatic farm, and we're going to put do, 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 like that, right? Okay. Oh, okay. There, I guess I had to put the electron tubes in first. Okay, so now we have this guy. Now, if we go out here, back to our farm, we can stick this guy in here, and then we just need a couple things to make this thing work. So we put this in there, right? And this turns it into a wheat farm. So we need water. We need... Uh, this is output. We need some seeds, obviously. We also need some farmland for sure. And then we need some fertilizer some, and then all these other things. Okay. And then power, right? Power is key. So you can see there's no RF in here. And I don't think we need tons. So I think what we're going to do is build a couple thermoelectric generators. I mean, that's the easy way to get passive RF power. We don't have to keep coming over here managing around. So we're going to get some of those built. And I'll probably jump off camera to do that. And then we'll come back and we'll see if we can't get this fired up. The other thing that I want to make, let me take a look here really quick. I want to make some a reservoir from Ender Ender IO. So let's look at reservoir. We'll go like this. So we need a cauldron, which is easy, right? That's just a bunch of iron. And then we need some glass, which we make the glass in the alloy smelter. Okay, so we need eight of those. So we're gonna need thirty-two quartz. So let's do that. Oh. Let's break this in half. We'll put this back in there. And then we're going to go throw this in the alloy smelter. And I'll work on cooking that up. We want uh, alloys. Actually, all smelting will work. Go in there. And that should give us our eight pieces of hardened glass. And then we'll just make a cauldron. And we'll get a reservoir going. And that's going to be our water source. We're also going to need to make some fluid ducts. Fluid conduit. Uh, conduit. And there's so much stuff. Um, how do I make fluid conduit? So it's... Oh, I need some more of this fused glass. Okay, so let's get... Uh, how many of those? Three. Okay, so let's get... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get a couple more of those. Hopefully I have enough binder condu composite. I'm going to have to make some more, I think. I just need six. Do I have six? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six... Okay. All right, so we're going to make fluid duct. Fluid, let's do that together just so you guys can see. We'll take those. Perfect. The rest of those are still cooking up. That's all good. All right, we're going to make some fluid conduit. Should just be like this. Yeah. Okay. Pressurized. Um, I guess we didn't really need pressurized. Fuse glass. Fuse quartz. What's the difference? What's the difference between this? Oh, okay. Well, we could have made that a little bit cheaper, but that's okay. I don't mind. It was just a little bit of quartz and a little bit of power. All right, let me get some things set up, and I'll bring you back, and we'll see if we can't get this farm fired up. Oh, man, I'm excited. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. We got this farm fired up. Oh, it's working like a dream. I'm going to take you out there and show you what I've got going on, but I need to make something really quick. We need to make some fertilizer. Sounds like we're going to need to maybe have another one of these farms running, and we'll use them to produce uh, bog earth, peat. Oh, man, it's nighttime. Of course it's nighttime. I'm starting to record. Why wouldn't it be nighttime? <laughs> Let's sleep through the night real quick. I didn't put my head headphones on there we go okay we've got to be able to hear mobs sneaking up on us and stuff like that okay so here's this big old forestry farm i've got a couple stone bricks i'm just sort of ringing this thing just to separate it from the rest of the area i don't know why it 
puts water randomly. I guess it needs it. Okay. All right, so there's our farm. Oh, man, it's a big daddy, man. It's taking up tons of space. That's okay. We're going to be producing tons and tons of uh, biofuel, I guess, eventually. Okay, so let's go over here and take a look and see. So did I bring some seeds with me? I bet I have some in, some's in here. All right, I'm going to put fill this guy up. Okay, so everything should be good there. Is that guy happy? Yeah, everybody's happy. Okay. And let me go grab some more seeds so I can show you how this thing works. So you have to put in the... So I've got these big platforms. You can see they're stretched out here. They're even with the ground. This is a, a valid area for these, these blocks. They essentially run from the bottom. You got to be stone bricks. It's got to be one of the materials that you use to make the farm. And they run out this way. Okay, and, and there's a, it's 11 by 11 by 11, so 11 on each side, and then you just fill in the corner. So it's five wide, so there's a strip of ground that's five wide, 11 blocks long, and then you just kind of connect the corners, right? So with, and then you have to hoe it. And I made myself a diamond hoe just because I didn't want to have to keep replacing them all the time. So let's grab some more seeds. Over here, I think I have some. I don't know how many more I need, but we should be in pretty good shape now. Um, okay all right and now let us go and put these seeds in here and this should plant the rest of this farm or come close to it so let's throw these guys in here so you just click them in and now you'll hear it in just a second it's super loud <laughs> but we'll sit over here and watch so now whenever it cycles through it should yeah see it's planting all those seeds for us yeah, I guess that was enough. Okay, so now the whole farm is planted. Now let's go over here. I'm going to try something here and see what the deal is. Let's grab some of this fertilizer out of here that we made. And we should be able to bone meal these guys. Yep. And then they should get harvested. Yeah, see? Just got harvested and it replanted itself. Okay, and it scans, right? You can see that it's, not only is it harvesting the wheat, but then it's replanting it with seeds. Let's go down here and take a look. We should see it in our farm hatch. Yep, so we have some seeds and we have extra ones. So I don't think we have to keep putting seeds in. Maybe we do. We may have to cycle seeds back through. I kind of want to, I kind of want to see. So let's do this. Can I put that in there? I'm afraid not. No, okay. All right, let's go bone meal a little bit of this. Now, we may have to set up a system where we cycle seeds back through the farm. We'll see in just a second. It should harvest and replant. No, so we're going to have to provide it with seeds. we got to keep a steady supply of seeds coming into this thing. And so let's go ahead and just load it up with a bunch of seeds, and it'll replant that. So it's not a problem. So we have two hatches, um, which are somewhere... Farm control. Where are my hatches? Okay, they're over there. Okay, so we've got hatches right there. We have a farm hatch there. Do we have one of the other one here? Yeah. So one of these has to put seeds into the farm. The other one is going to pull the goodies out. So we'll take the good the goods out <laughs> and we'll cycle back through. So my plan is and we'll have to do this next episode because we're essentially out of time. So I've got my thermoelectric generators fired up here. I've got my reservoir going. Remember that reservoir was just a cauldron surrounded by eight of those fuse quartz. And so we've got plenty of power. Plenty of power. Everybody's happy. Everybody's good. I guess that's a way to put water in there with like cans or something like that. We don't need to worry about that. And so this thing is now going to be working. So, I mean, it's not super fast, but once all this wheat starts growing, I mean, we're going to be in good shape. So this is going to be a pretty steady supply of wheat, I think. Yep. So it automatically, we just haven't had any of it grow. I mean, I literally just got this started. But as the wheat grows... And it's going to, like a lot of it's going to grow at the same time. We're going to get it all harvested. So over here, this stuff's about ready to grow or to get harvested. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Working like a dream. Working like a dream. So that is kind of cool, that fertilizer from Actually Additions. I mean, we should keep keep on top of that. Yeah, so everybody's good, right? So we're getting seeds and wheat out. So we're going to pull the wheat out and put it in a crate or do something with it for temporary use. And then we're going to cycle back through and put seeds back in here if it'll take it. I mean, I don't know if I have... Um, we're long in this episode. I don't think we should probably worry about it. We'll set this up next time. So in the meantime, we're just going to let it run. And it's going to be collecting all the wheat. And then we're going to take that wheat, convert it into... Oh, look, do you see it just did some stuff over there. I love that. We're going to take all the wheat and we're going to convert it into biofuel that we can run in... Yeah. <laughs> That we could run in those generators from forestry to produce us some more EU. So we're going to get our EU situation solved sooner than later. Um, hopefully those things won't run if we don't need I don't think they will. We're also going to build some sort of battery, a, be a bigger battery for EU. But we're going to do that next time. And then hopefully if all of those things come together for us, then we're going to be able to get that void ore miner fired up very shortly. And I was thinking we might as well just look at building ourselves a void resource miner as well so we can have both of them running. And that way we can start raking in all the goods. And then we're going to have to deal with storage. And I think we can probably get into the storage age at that point. But there we go. Look, man, I got my Santa hat on. I'm looking all cool. And we got an automatic forestry farm. Now, I also know that I think we can actually build a second layer on this farm if we want to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you heard. So I think I can run some more stone bricks. We'll see. We'll see how much we end up getting out of this thing. What the throughput is. You know, it's a little bit slow because we got to wait for it to grow. But that's okay. It takes up a huge footprint. But I love this kind of stuff, man. It's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from the Age of Engineering, where we're growing wheat like a boss. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you.